The Enchanted Rose Once upon a time in the kingdom of Serendipity, there lived a powerful king named King Benedict and his beloved queen, Queen Serafina. They were blessed with two beautiful daughters, Princess Isabella and Princess Aurora. The kingdom rejoiced as they awaited the day when the princesses would find their true love, for it was said that only a prince with a pure heart could win their hands. Princess Isabella was known for her grace and wisdom, whereas Princess Aurora possessed a kind and compassionate soul. The fame of their virtues traveled far and wide, catching the attention of many princes from different lands who sought to win their favor. In a neighboring kingdom, Prince Cedric had heard tales of the enchanting princesses. Captivated by their beauty and intrigued by their noble qualities, he set out on a journey to serendipity. Determined to prove himself worthy, he embarked on a quest to find a legendary rose hidden deep within the enchanted forest. Guided by an old and wise sage, Prince Cedric braved treacherous terrains and overcame countless obstacles. Finally, after months of relentless pursuit, he found himself standing before the coveted rose. However, there was a catch, the rose was guarded by a ferocious creature known as the Shadow Beast. Undeterred by the challenge, Prince Cedric relied on his wit and courage. He faced the beast head-on, showing no fear. The battle was fierce, but the prince refused to give in. Eventually, he unveiled his true strength, defeating the Shadow Beast and freeing the Enchanted Rose. Filled with triumph and joy, Prince Cedric made his way back to the Kingdom of Serendipity, carrying the precious rose. Upon his arrival, he presented it to King Benedict, Queen Serafina, and the princesses. The rose glowed with an ethereal light, its petals unfolding to reveal a hidden message within. The message read, Only a prince who values love above all else shall marry the princesses true. Hearing these words, Prince Cedric realized that his journey had been more than just proving his worth. It had taught him the true meaning of love and sacrifice. Princess Isabella and Princess Aurora were moved by the prince's sincerity and bravery. They saw beyond his accomplishments and recognized the purity of his heart. And so, the princesses chose Prince Cedric as their suitor. For they believed he was the one who embraced love's power above all else. In a grand ceremony, the kingdom celebrated the union of Prince Cedric and the princesses. Their love illuminated serendipity, bringing harmony and prosperity to the land. And within the castle walls, the enchanted rose blossomed, forever reminding future generations of the strength and beauty found within true love. And so, the tale of the enchanted rose became a legend, passed down through generations, reminding everyone that love is the greatest treasure of all. The Enchanted Masquerade Once upon a time, in a kingdom far away, there existed a grand palace where the most enchanting masquerade balls were held. Princes and princesses from all lands would journey to this magical realm. Eager to find their destined love amidst the shimmering chandeliers and elegant melodies. Princess Serafina, with her cascading golden locks and emerald green eyes, had been attending these grand rendezvous for years. Though many a prince had waltzed with her under the moonlit sky, her heart remained untouched. She yearned for a connection that went beyond mere appearances. Her parents, the king and queen, worried about their daughter's happiness and decided to host a grand event, inviting every eligible prince in the realm. Among these suitor princes who eagerly arrived was Prince Augustus, a young man of noble stature and gentle demeanor. Unlike his counterparts, he possessed a wisdom and patience that surpassed his years. When his eyes met Princess Serafina's, a spark ignited in his heart. And he knew he had found his true love. Underneath the opulent masks and extravagant gowns, the two danced effortlessly, as if they were destined for each other. Their conversations flowed like a crystal clear stream, and their laughter echoed through the halls. Time stood still as Prince Augustus unveiled his true nature, a kind and compassionate soul, cherished not just by his betrothed but also by everyone around them. But little did they know that an evil sorceress, named Morgana, had been watching from the shadows. Jealous of their connection and bewitched by the power of true love, she vowed to tear them apart. 
With a wicked grin, Morgana concocted a spell that transformed Princess Serafina into a rose and whisked her away to a hidden tower at the edge of the kingdom. Prince Augustus, heartbroken at the sudden disappearance of his beloved, set out on a perilous quest to save her. After facing numerous dangers and overcoming treacherous obstacles, he finally reached the tower where Princess Serafina was imprisoned. Morgana taunted him relentlessly. But his determination remained unyielding. With a sword forged through bravery and love, Prince Augustus battled Morgana, using every ounce of his strength to break her devious spell. As the final strike was delivered, the spell shattered, and the rose-shaped prison crumbled. Revealing Princess Serafina once again. In the presence of their true love, the kingdom rejoiced, for true love had prevailed. The enchanting masquerade ball became a legendary tale, passed down through generations, reminding everyone of the power of love, perseverance, and the beauty hidden within the hearts of princes and princesses. And so, Princess Serafina and Prince Augustus lived happily ever after, their souls entwined, and their love shining brighter than any star in the night sky. In the end, they discovered that true love knows no boundaries. Not even the wickedness of an enchantress. The Enchanted Kingdom Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there existed an enchanted kingdom. This kingdom was blessed with breathtaking landscapes, shimmering lakes, and magnificent castles. It was a place where dreams came true. And legends were born. At the heart of this kingdom lived a kind and wise king, along with his beloved queen. They had two children, Princess Amara and Prince Adrian. The princess was known for her compassionate nature and her ability to see beauty in everything. Prince Adrian, on the other hand, possessed a brave and adventurous spirit. One fateful day, a wicked sorceress named Morgana arrived at the gates of the kingdom with an evil plan in mind. She cast a dark spell over the land, causing chaos, fear, and misery to overcome its residents. The once vibrant and joyous kingdom was now shrouded in darkness. Determined to save their kingdom and its people, Princess Amara and Prince Adrian embarked on a perilous quest. Together, they ventured into the unknown, facing treacherous forests and forbidding mountains. Along the way, they encountered mystical creatures and encountered magical obstacles. They soon discovered that the only way to break Morgana's curse was to find three ancient, enchanted artifacts scattered across the kingdom. Each artifact held immense power, capable of restoring peace and harmony to their troubled land. With unwavering determination, the princess and prince traversed through the enchanted forests, sought guidance from wise old wizards, and faced numerous trials. Throughout their journey, they remained steadfast, united, and never lost hope. As they reached the final stage of their quest, they found themselves standing before the majestic dragon's lair. The mighty dragon, guardian of the last artifact, demanded a test of courage and selflessness in exchange for the artifact's release. Princess Amara, always compassionate, stepped forward fearlessly. With kindness and patience, she managed to calm the dragon's fiery spirit, convincing it that they had come with good intentions. Impressed by her bravery and sincere heart, the dragon bestowed upon them the final artifact. Armed with all three artifacts, the princess and prince returned to their kingdom. Through combined efforts, they used the power of the artifacts to cast a counterspell, shattering Morgana's curse. Light poured over the land, banishing the shadows, and restoring happiness to its inhabitants. The kingdom rejoiced, grateful for the bravery and determination of their young heroes. Princess Amara and Prince Adrian were hailed as symbols of hope and resilience, forever etching their names in the kingdom's history. From that day forward, the enchanted kingdom flourished under the loving rule of the royal family. The princess and prince, wise beyond their years, continued to serve their people with humility, compassion, and an unwavering dedication to their beloved land. And so, the story of Princess Amara and Prince Adrian's extraordinary adventure became a legend, reminding future generations of the power of love, unity, and unwavering determination in the face of darkness.